All right, everybody. So I am going to show you some tips and tricks um, for the week eight assignment for lists. I'm not going to go through the entire assignment with you. I'm just going to show you some of the items that I need to point out that sometimes folks struggle with uh, when it comes to lists. So the example document looks something like this. This is the original document that we start with. So we're just, we are starting with the plain text and then we're gonna format it into this type of uh, information. I'm trusting that you know how to use styles at this point. Uh, underline, use borders, uh, center items. I'm really gonna just focus on the bullets, custom bullets and multi-level lists, okay? So I'm gonna put that over there. I've already got a document that I've created on my own. That's just a replica of that other one. So it's pretty close. Um, the instructions in the assignment say to use the, that we use the formal theme. I think that's a deprecated theme, meaning it's kind of gone, gone the way of the dodo. So just use whatever theme you want to use. Um, you can use a quirky theme. You can use anything you want. So just remember themes are under design and you can come here. You can either click this drop down and choose a cool theme. Whatever you want. Hey, I might, no, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to do something like, how about gallery? Why not? And then I'm going to come up here and say, mm, do I want it centered? Do I want it distinctive? Eh, I'm going to do this one. So just be, get creative with it. Whatever colors you want, you can, you can uh, make it as personalized as you want it to. So I'm not going to focus on the titling and all that stuff. I'm focusing on the bullet items because that's really the skills that we are looking for you to demonstrate. We're looking for you to apply a checkmark bullet, apply the Moroni symbol, and then apply a custom multi-level list, okay? Uh, if you don't get the formatting just perfect, that's not a big deal. What I'm really looking for is those skills. So first thing we're going to do out, and remember I'm not going to focus on the, the titles and stuff like that, is I'm going to change this to no space just to compress things for myself and I'm gonna change the font size to 12 make it a little bit reader more readable for my my old eyes here and I'm gonna go one page at a time make a hundred percent so that's a little tip if you don't like having both pages next to each other you can click on one page hundred percent and then that's the way I like to work with the word documents I'm old school that way okay so the first one is this bulleted item with the check boxes or the check marks so the way you're going to do that is make sure you're in home and you're next to one of the lines you want to put the check box next to if you come up to the paragraph section up here you have the option of choosing bullets numbering or multi-level list so we're going to do bullets i'm going to do the drop down and you notice that i have a check mark there there we go look check mark looks just like that one and what you can do is you can i'm going to undo that one highlight all of the lines actually i don't want it on the first line highlight all of the lines hit that drop down do a checkbox and then it does them all i'm lazy i like to do them all really quick so i'm going to do the same thing down this one this is the one where we're going to have the the moroni notice i already have moroni here but i'm going to show you how to uh, define a new one so Again, you're going to come to paragraph, bullets, and we're going to define a new bullet. And it's going to be from a picture. So I'll select that. I'm going to say I want to get it from a file because I've already downloaded it. And here's the file that I downloaded from the website. So click on that one, click insert, and just hit OK. Dun, dun, dun. Look, I've got Moroni now. He's my, he's my little bullet item there. So that's uh, inserting a custom one. And then the last one is the multi-level list. So please be careful. What I'm going to be looking for with your list is that you have the number one with a period, capital A, B, C, or D with a period, and then the third level is a number with the parenthesis, the right paren, right parentheses. Okay. So you're going to have to customize these things. So in the in the example, it starts with January and then it goes A, B. So I'm going to go to January and this third item over on the, the paragraph thing is the multi-level list. You'll hit that drop down, 
and you want to define a new multi-level list because the way that we have this formatted is not a standard way. So you'll go to note, define new. And I'm going to say that this first level is going to be a number. Because remember, it's a number with a period. So make sure that it is a number there. And just kind of make sure in the number style for this level that you have numbers. And then you'll notice that the number is all the way over. So we want to make sure that the margins or they're aligned for this first one is aligned at zero and the indent is at 0.25 and then we'll go to number two and this one's automatically formatted for me for a capital a but if it's not you can do the drop down we can make it lowercase a b c but i want it uppercase because remember our example they were uppercase and then we're going to go to level and then make sure you change this one this one's going to be aligned at 0.25. The indent is going to be at 0.5. And then we're going to go to level three and make sure this one is a number with a parenthesis. So it may not have the parenthesis, it may have a period. If it does, just delete it and put a right parenthesis on there. This one is going to be aligned at half inch. The text indent is going to be at 0.75. All right, we're only going to go three levels deep, so we'll hit OK. And you notice January already has the number. And then here's a little cheater way of doing this is I go to the end of that one, that first one, and I just hit delete. And then it brings that next line up, and then I hit enter. Da -da -da. Magically, it puts the, the number on the next one. And you hit tab, and that'll indent it more, or you can come up here and say increase indent and it'll do the same thing okay i'm lazy and i like to use the keyboard so that's tab shift tab takes it back tab brings it to the right shift tab takes it back to the left so you notice we have january and then we have a introductory page and then the first nephi um, i can come in here and say give me my multi-level and it'll um, automatically go to number two or B. Or you could be lazy like me, go to the end, hit, uh, hit delete, hit enter, and then hit tab. And that takes it to that third level. Okay. I'm not going to show you how to do all of them now. It's just repetition. Just come in here. It's just repetition as we go. Okay. And if you have any questions, let me know. Again, I'm not going to cover all the formatting. Uh, it's up to you. You should know how to do the titles and everything else and the, the borders. If you don't, give me a holler and uh, just make sure you set up the multi-level list uh, in the proper format, the numbers, the letters, and any special characters that we have there. Good luck with this one, you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care.